So last year, just like every other depressed, buried in debt college student out there, I wanted a job. And specifically, I wanted a job at Fing. Why? Because of money. No, 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 no. I mean, money is one part of it, obviously. But, you know, also just working with cool engineers, cool projects, and actually making an impact on the world, all that jazz. But, you know, there's a problem. My first two interviews were complete garbage. They were with Facebook and Google. At, at one point, the interviewer for my Facebook round didn't even let me write a single line of code because my solution was just that bad. Obviously, I did eventually get hired, but an interesting event happened from that. I had a friend, you know, let's call her Rem who was about to graduate and didn't know that hiring was already happening. At this point, hiring had already been going on for two to three months, so she was actually quite behind in the process. So what I did is actually gave her my two recruiter emails from Google and Facebook, and I told her advice that I watched on a YouTube video. And it was to email the recruiters and to tell them, hey, I'm currently in the process of interviewing. Do you think you can help check the status of my application or could they help expedite the process for her? So, you know, we sent off that email and we waited and waited. And so Google actually never got back to her, but Facebook did. And within a week, she was able to completely bypass the first part of, you know, the entire resume screening and instantly schedule a first round interview. And so right afterwards, I thought, well, you know, that actually worked quite well. Could I potentially do this with one recruiter, two recruiter? How about at a dozen different companies? Would it be possible? And so I started thinking, okay, well, where am I going to find all these recruiters? And the answer I came to was obviously LinkedIn because, you know, LinkedIn's where everyone flexes about their job status. And then I thought, well, you know, I could manually sit there and just, you know, go through every single LinkedIn profile or because I'm a programmer and because programmers are lazy, I thought to myself, well, can't I write a bot to do this? And the answer was, yes, you can. So when I started researching about this project, I wanted to use a new tool called Puppeteer which is an amazing JavaScript library from Google, which essentially lets you spin up a Chrome browser and go ahead and scrape the entire internet. But as I was writing the bot, there were a lot of things I had overcome. The first one was just CAPTCHAs. You know, I never really thought about them before because they're so easy to solve, but honestly, they did a really good job having my bot question itself on its existential purpose in life, not able to get through the login page. So I had to figure out a solution for this and it was quite simple. I just ended up having it connect to an already logged in Chrome browser. The second part of the issue though was while I was debugging, I kept on wondering why was I only getting three results per company. And, and there were actually lots of reasons to this. The first one being that LinkedIn only lets you see people in your network. But the second one was that I didn't realize that LinkedIn actually only dynamically shows you the results when you scroll down. So if you don't scroll down, the results will never show. And the final thing is, that I actually got banned from LinkedIn. You know, it turns out when you're scraping 10,000 profiles when you're testing and debugging, easy to know that you're a bot and not a human. So I actually sat on this project for a few months thinking, you know, well, that's probably as good as it's going to be. I don't want to get my LinkedIn ban again after I got unbanned. But one day someone on Discord actually posted an image saying that you could use Google to scrape LinkedIn. And I looked at this and I thought, wait a minute, this is actually genius. The first thing is that I'm not gonna get banned from LinkedIn if I utilize this tactic. And the second thing is that I wouldn't only just get the LinkedIn profile, I could also get the recruiter email. So bam, just like that, I switched over and what do you know, it worked, it was less of a hassle and it was insanely fast. So let's check it out. So come in the future, when I go out looking for jobs again, I am pretty interested in would this tactic work again? One of my thought processes is maybe I can just write a bot in order to take these emails and just start randomly emailing these recruiters every so often and see whether or not I can generate some sort of lead. For now, that's the end of the project and check out in the description below if you're interested in the GitHub repo. Also, feel free to join my Discord community. I've, I started a Discord community and I really would love it if you join me there. Anyways, I'll see you all around and see you all next time.